24K Sports, hit subscribe. Welcome, everybody, to the 24K Sports Super Show for the Super Bowl. I'm Andy McNamara. Get me on Twitter at AndyMC81. Oh, boy. <laughs> the big game's here, people. You got to say the big game because the NFL, you know, gets a little squeamish if you say Super Bowl too much. But we don't care. Super Bowl! Chiefs and Eagles. Who you got? Who do you like? We want to know from you your picks, your props. You got any that, that really cling to you that you're like, oh, man, that that anytime touchdown, whatever it might be. Let us know in the comment section. Hit us up on social media, 24K Sports. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that button. We got a special show for you today. We're going with some fantasy football champions. We'll be coming on in just a few minutes time. Make sure for, hey, you want your fantasy football gear or guys at Trophy Smack. TrophySmack.com. That's all you need right there. Trophies, championship belts, rings, wall hangers, gorgeous stuff at Trophy Smack. Let's get to this game. Chiefs, Eagles, who do you like? I'm going Eagles. And that one and a half point spread, I think there's some wiggle room here. Because if you go, depending on the sports book that you go to, I really love the alternate spread in this one, folks. And that one and a half line, it, it really it all comes down to who do you think is going to win? If you think the Chiefs, different conversation. I'm going with the Eagles. I think their offense is more varied. I think you have it more structured compared to the Patrick Mahomes and his phantom on again, off again, ankle. But for the, let's look at it for the Eagles. You stop AJ Brown. You have Devonta Smith. You stop Devonta Smith. You have Dallas Goddard. By the way, you got Miles Sanders in the back who can run Boston Scott's a little bowling ball at the one or two yard line. And Jalen hurts himself can run. Plus that defense, which is approaching all time status, which how aggressive they are in Jalen hurts. Never been in this position before. Patrick Mahomes has won a Super Bowl, and he's lost the Super Bowl. Jalen Hurts, first time. So how does that work? On the Chiefs side, you look at it, the main weapon is Travis Kelsey. Everybody else, it really depends on the creativity, the mobility, and how much improv Patrick Mahomes is going to be able to do with that ankle. Now, it didn't really affect him. He was hobbled a little bit. It didn't really affect him against Cincinnati. But Travis Kelsey's the guy. Everybody else is a benefactor of Patrick Mahomes' creativity. He could chuck one up to Juju. He could throw one to Kadarius Tony or do a little pitch out. Isaiah Pacheco in the back of Jared McKinnon's going to be on the field a lot. So where does that come in? And that's why it's the ultimate spread that really jumps out to me. If you look at, I'll look at the DraftKings Sportsbook here, but all the sites have uh, their ultimate spread. So the one and a half, you know, that's pan out what? Minus 110, pretty boring on the spread. But if you think the Eagles will win, and let's say you think it's a field goal, I think they'll win by three to four points. So if you want to be a little more aggressive, you go two and a half point spread, that pays minus 102. I like the three. The three points, minus three, Eagles to win by three, pays plus 115 by three and a half, plus 137. So now we're making it interesting, right? Now we're making it interesting on the spread. The money line doesn't really interest me that much. The over-under set at, now this has been moving a little bit, it was, uh, now it's up to 51. The other day it was 50 and a half. So now it's climbing. The healthier Patrick Mahomes' ankle gets, the higher that points, the, that over under point total goes. With it that high, I'm liking the under. Because both defenses are solid. Chris Jones is a monster for the Kansas City D-line. And you can move him around too. So if we're looking at that, it wouldn't surprise me a, what, 20... 7, 24, 26, you know, in that range, in that 20 range, which is kind of pushing it. But that under, that's where I'm leaning on that one. Now, some prop plays. Now, again, you talk about the under. The last four years, the last four Super Bowls, the under has always hit. Take that for what you will, but that's something. Uh, Jalen Hurts, anytime touchdown. Now, again, depends on the sports book you're using. Uh, FanDuel's paying a real good plus 100 for an anytime touchdown by Jalen Hurts, I love that. Everybody else is in the minuses. So the FanDuel plus 100 is pretty good. You get Caesars minus 105. I like that. Track the health on Kadarius Tony. If Kadarius Tony plays, you might want to put a name time touchdown. I don't like the player personally, but he's that wild card factor. If he doesn't play, Sky Moore at plus 950 anytime touchdown. So that might be something you want to track a little bit closer to game time. Uh, Travis Kelsey anytime touchdown minus 106. The one that I like is the multiple touchdowns, okay? When you look at the multiple touchdown games or, or, or options there, um, I'm just going to look for that right there because that's where I think it starts to get interesting too. So Travis Kelsey, anytime touchdown, eh, all right, he's probably going to score one. 
But what if he gets two or more? Now we're talking payouts plus 475. Now I'm interested. Travis Kelsey looks real good. Anytime touchdown for Jarek McKinnon. This is something I don't think we should overlook. Because quite often in the Super Bowl, we see weird stuff, right? We see a weird guy that, you know, you get a touchdown. And Jarek McKinnon, at the end of the season, came on. Now, McKinnon, anytime touchdown for Jarek McKinnon is plus 180. That could be something where Isaiah Pacheco's run fine but not great. And I really like the Patrick Mahomes anytime TD. Said it was plus, what, 100 for Jalen Hurts? Plus 390 for Mahomes. Don't you think if it's at the three, four yard line and the game's close, if it's a blowout, he doesn't have to run. But we've seen he can. And even with that ankle, a little screwed out for Patty, eh? Calling his own number, get that Super Bowl MVP wants it. I think that could work. And that's a plus 390. So that's that's a, a play I want to put on Mahomes. Again, I like the under two touchdown for Travis Kelsey and, and Jalen Hurts. And then again, if, uh, Tony doesn't play maybe Sky Moore plus 950. I might do Sky Moore anyway. That seems that's just a guess pick, right? Chucks it up downfield and you go from there. So I think Eagles by more than three in that alternate spread. Don't forget about that. That three to three and a half, maybe that three plus money there. So I really like that one also. But what do you like? Who do you think is going to win? Eagles? Is it the Chiefs? By how much? What prop plays? What about the coin toss? What about the Rihanna? How many songs? I think it's well, one of the things I said I saw was nine and a half songs by Rihanna. I don't know. I don't usually bet those prop, uh, those uh, uh, non-game props, but how long is the national anthem? The line set two minutes and two seconds. Now you have some fun with it, but let us know. Follow us on Twitter, 24K Sports, uh, Instagram as well, at AndyMCD1 on Twitter, at AndyMC Sports on Instagram. Now, stay tuned. I promise some fantasy football. This is from our guys, the Southern Bluegrass Fantasy Football Championships, Okay. This is a huge tournament going on the 14th annual event in Kentucky. 14 years is going to be in August this year. We're hoping to get down there. I can't wait to talk to this, this current year's champion, the Dixie Chickens, owners Todd McIntyre and Curtis Van. We'll talk some fantasy football coming up next here on the 24K Sports Super Show. Hey, everybody. We're talking... Super Bowl before we get ready for the big game. But let's talk a little fantasy football too. Fantasy football never sleeps. And it certainly doesn't sleep for, for my money. And I just learned about this terrific event last year at the Big Fantasy Football Expo in Canton, Ohio. And I met my first guest, Brian Harwood. He's the founder, president, commissioner of Southern Bluegrass Fantasy Football Championship out of Kentucky. Bourbon country, my kind of town and my kind of guy. Brian, how are you, sir? What's happening, Andy? What's happening, Curtis? What's happening, Todd? And everybody doing well? Oh, we're, we're doing good, man. And you know what? Hey, Brian, let's bring let's bring in our guys too, Curtis and Todd. And we're bringing them in because they are the most recent champions of the Lucky Thirteen edition, the Dixie Chickens, they call themselves, of the Southern Bluegrass Fantasy Football Championship. So, guys, first of all, congratulations on the title. But for those who may not have heard about what this great event is, and and really how prestigious and how difficult it is to win it um why don't you tell us a little bit about brian why don't you tell us a little bit uh, briefly about the history and then we'll uh, go to go to curtis and todd we started back in 2010 and bonger kentucky to hilton garden <laughs> and we had 48 teams four divisions that we did another fantasy event out of town and it was held in louisville and they had about seven or eight people had seven or eight leagues drafted then and so we, i had a lot of contacts in the fantasy football industry in the world and here locally in Bowling green and the surrounding towns and friends of friends and new owners. And we decided to make the jump into the, the tournament style fantasy football, just as a hobby back in 2010. And we've won from 48 owners to 60 to 72 to 96 to 108 to uh, today. We had 264 owners oh. attend the uh, 13th annual Southern Bluegrass fantasy football championship in August of 2022. So, uh, we're going to have the uh, 14th annual Southern Bluegrass Fantasy Football Championship powered by DataForceFF.com. Um, the main event is going to be Saturday, August 19th, 2020, 2023 at the Nicely Conference Center in Bowling Green, Kentucky. I'm going to update my website. It's SBFFC.com. SBFFC.com in the coming weeks with uh, information on new owners, how to sign up. We, uh, we're a single entry only tournament, so there's going to be limited spots available. So we, uh, we take nothing but the best. So, uh, 
you know, we uh, Dixie Chickens, they came from the World Championship of Fantasy Football and have done a lot of uh, leagues out in Las Vegas and all that good stuff. So they, uh, they've got the experience and they're bringing a lot to the table and they're, they're actually bringing a couple of new owners to the league in 2023. So, uh, it's like, Whoa, 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 I'm a, my buddy Jane's coming. And I think I can beat the Dixie chickens. I'm going to come try to knock them off the throne. So that's, that's what, this is what this is all about. And, uh, we do, we do fundraisers for the Western Kentucky university dance team and the Schaefer middle school football, which I work right now. And, uh, I uh, currently, all, I'm, I'm supposed to be on my planning period, but uh, I've already planned my class for today. So, um, according, to, according to everybody else that's in the building, I'm uh, holding a Zoom meeting educationally. So, uh, that's right. uh, we'll keep we'll keep that little uh, secret between us, okay? That's right, on 24K Sports. And so, let's bring in the champs. The champs are here, the Dixie Chickens. The world Bob champions. McIntyre, Curtis Van, and, look, and the champ, our buddies at Trophy Smack, who do such great work. Matt at, at Trophy Smack, the whole crew. They provide the, the championships and all that for so many. You can check them out, trophysmack.com, championship, uh, championship rings, title belts, trophies, phenom- wall hangers, phenomenal stuff. But, gentlemen, uh, first of all, congratulations on winning this. Mm-hmm. Um, tell me real quick, the, the Dixie Chickens, I love the name. What's the backstory? Why? Well, I'm a chicken farmer. <laughs> and we're from down south. My buddy Curtis lives in Baton Rouge, and I live – uh, in central Mississippi. So we just, I, I came up with that name and he decided he would, he'd go for it too. So that's, that's where the name is. Yeah. I love it. I mean, hey, it, it pops and it's going to look great on a trophy. So guys, to win a championship of this magnitude with this many skilled people, this isn't your run of the mill, you know, where uh, uh, thousands of uh, people Yahoo lead. Now this is, this is the best of the best. So what was your strategy going into to this year? Like, who are some of your best players? What did your team look like? Go ahead. Go ahead. You hear well, in the first round, we everybody was a little scared of McCaffrey getting hurt, so we took a chance on him. The second round, everybody was a little scared of Barkley, so we took a chance on him. Then the, in the fourth round, we, we left out that Josh Allen was still there. And – our wide receivers were a little weak. We had T. Higgins and Deontay Johnson. And then we got Kittle in the fifth or sixth. And yeah. he came on during the playoffs. He really wasn't that much of a player all year, but he, he really did his job in the playoffs. And, uh, and then yeah, other than that, we just, like I said, right we there. just kind of lucked out, uh, the, 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 especially the last three weeks. I, I don't think we ever scored 200 points the whole year. And the first two weeks, we had two, 230 something and 210, 215, something like that. Kind of set us up for that last week. So it was just, just fun, really fun, lucky, to be honest with you. Right. Hey, good to be lucky, lucky to be good, man. That, that's yeah. a heck of a squad building off and getting those. That was the thing. Great McCaffrey, Barkley, help, help, help. And it worked out. Now, I'll tell you what else worked out, too. They was in the division with me. <laughs> I got to tell you, Doc is a tough, tough competitor. I can tell you that right now. So, Oh, Brian, that must have hurt. That was a good. Uh, <laughs> well, I was a defending <laughs> champion from last year. And uh, yeah. Dixie Chickens were in my division last year. And yeah, right. Patrick Lanham wanted me to uh, get you, get your two boys in the same division. You can keep that rivalry going. Yeah. And they, they won the championship, Andy, by about 55 points. Yeah. That's unheard of. Yeah, Unreal. Just, and That's we actually had three spot. three players that didn't even play. Uh, uh, Allen and uh, T. Higgins and who was our Dawson Knox. Dawson Knox. We didn't even get the chance to play. So yeah. Really? Wow. They could have broke the ceiling there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We weren't ahead. No, it, it, it's a great squad. Now, your best year, you were you guys were telling me off the air, 2006, you got a story about that. Uh, you had Ladanian Tomlinson and Peyton Manning, I believe, right? Correct. We had we had a uh, we had a rookie by the name of uh, 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 Reggie Reggie Bush, and uh, it was funny because we we really weren't we played very well that year, really well, and 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 we were in the in the hunt, but it came down to one game to put us in the championship, and. I'll never forget this as long as I live. We were probably up 20-something points going into that night. Up 18. Hey, up 18, going into that night. And we were playing a guy that had Josh Brown, who was the Seattle kicker. 
at the time. And I'll never forget, it was on Monday night. It was snowing like you wouldn't believe. It was, it was a brutal game. And he winds up kicking like five field goals and cuts us. And so that puts us into the what we call the to- toilet bowl and not the championship bowl. And we wound up scoring the second most points in the toilet bowl, which if we'd have been in the, the, the championship game, we'd have won 50 grand. Oh, we wound, we wound up winning what, eight grand, something like that. But it was so fun. We just said, we, we know we got that close. We ought to be able to do this again. But we just never could do it. It was just, oh, just too fun. God. Yeah, love we love Josh Brown. That's a, a shout out to Josh. Shout out to Josh Brown. Yeah. Okay, guys, yeah. now let's do a little look ahead here, quick. Um, if the if you and you know, we got the combine, we got the draft, so much free agency, so much. But if you had a draft today, who would be your first overall fantasy football pick? Brian, we'll go to you as well. Your first overall fantasy pick, um, this year, if you had to pick it right now well, for 2023, I'm gonna tell you what. I was looking at it for a long time, and I think if you want – first-round pick has got to be somebody that's a breakout. You can't go with the norm. And I think what you got to do, I think if the Cincinnati Bengals keep up their offense the way they're going, and if T. Higgins is traded, I'm thinking you can make an argument for Jamar Chase being an overall number one really pick because if you draft first, second, or third, you got a chance to get him. You draft around the round, you're not going to be able to get him because – I like Burrow, but I like Kirk Cousins, you know, Justin Jefferson. And I, I just think that Jamar Chase is going to be the best wide receiver out of that group in the 2023. And Austin Eckler, he's 29 years old. How much how much longer does he have? Chris right. McCaffrey, can he have another good season like that? Just, it's hard really to trust a running back in that very first round because of a lot of them get burned. Derrick well, we Henry burned a lot of people this year. Yes. So your first round pick, you can't afford to make a mistake. You can't win the fan. You can't win the SBFFC in your first round, but you can sure lose it. Yeah, Dixie exactly. Chickens took a chance on McCaffrey and Barkley when no one else in that division would, and it paid off on them. You've got to take that gamble. But I still like. Uh, I don't think. I don't think Josh Jacobs. I think he was. I think he's got the best year out of the way. But yeah. you, you can make an argument for Eklund. He's twenty nine. But I'm gonna go wide receiver here and. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and go Jamar Chase. Okay, Jamar Chase for Brian. Uh, usually you go RB1, but I like the, I like the thinking of it. Okay. Well, because I don't think I don't think I'm going to be drafting the first three or four picks. I'm, I'm going to kind of pivot and change, maybe go toward the middle. Right. Right. And, and mix up. And really, I think, guys, uh, to go to Curtis and Todd, I think there's a risk this year because, you know, Christian McCaffrey and Saquon Barkley aren't going to be catching people by surprise. There's a real right. chance they get go back to being – overdrafted with still we can't forget about their injury history so where would you guys go if you had a draft today for a first overall pick well the way the running backs went down this past year i i would really think wide receiver i'm like brian i would chase or jefferson i don't think you could really go wrong there they're they're young and good offenses That'd be an interesting strategy shift because forever it seems uh, running, you know, just automatic running back. I like what you guys said is that lots of injuries, a lot more committees, of course, too. We we've never done that, but but I I I, I thought about it as the season progressed. I had one league where I had Jonathan Taylor with the first pick, hmm. and it, was, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, it made sense at the time. You're right. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Good that's what that's where the that's where the luck comes in. Yeah, you, know, you, 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 you got to be lucky. You can take a chance and it pays off, or take a chance and it gets hurt. Got it. That's just part help. of the game. Hey guys, uh, I want a Super Bowl pick from each of you, and then we'll boot ski and get out of here. Uh, Super Bowl pick, Brian, Eagles, Chiefs. Who you got? I think the Eagles are going to win. I, I like Jalen Hurts too much. I like AJ Brown too much. I think AJ Brown's got a point to prove that he was traded from the Tennessee Titans, who. I don't think knew how to manage him that well. When he first was traded, I, I was ready for him to leave because he didn't really prove himself because he was injured a lot. But now A.J. Brown's found the offense. He's good. Jalen Hurts is ready to take that next step as a good quarterback in the NFL. And if on the – but I'll change your mind. If the Chiefs have tails on the coin flip, tails on the coin flip is going to win. Whoever has, whoever has tails is going to win. But right now, serious business. All, right. All right. That's bold, baby. That's hot, bold. Hot tails pick. I don't know if I ever had that. Hot 50-50 shot. I mean, that's bold. Why not? Okay. 
Curtis, Todd, who you guys got? Who you taking? Who you like? <laughs> I, I like the experience of Kansas City. Now, I, I will say this. I love Philadelphia. Everything about them I love. I, I've loved them all year. I think it hurts, just like you said, Doc. It was just a, they're just a great team. But if, if, uh, if, if Mahomes' ankle's okay and he looked like it was okay two weeks ago. It was. I, I, think, he's, I think they're going to be tough to beat. I just think they they got too much experience. Yeah. And it might be that Philadelphia's a little – it's a little new for them but playing in that big a game. So, I don't know. That's just who I'm, I'm going with. Travis Kelsey is going to be hard to stop, too. I agree. Uh, I agree. Hit that over on the player, probably like 79 and a half yards receiving. Uh, uh, he's, they, they just take the pay window. And yeah. two two touchdown, two or more touchdowns pays real nice, too, if you go Travis Kelsey on a block. Uh, you go double. Uh, that's a nice little payout. And, and remember, yeah. Patrick Mahomes has won and lost the Super Bowl, so he's seen it from both angles. Jalen Hurts, yeah. first time. Yeah. So that's going to be very interesting. Remember, guys, trophy smack for fantasy football needs. Your, really, your sports need. That, those wall hangers, check those out. Those are really cool. Um, Brian, tee it up one more time where people can learn more about this year's SBFCC. FFC. Right, right now, you go to sbffc.com. That's sbffc.com. And just sign up with the League Safe link. I'm going to be updating the website here in the next week. I'm going to turn everything over to 2023. And uh, you can also email me at brian.harwood at twc.com. We're going to be living at spots available, so go ahead and sign up quickly. But we're going to have a whole weekend of events. We're going to have a Friday night draft event. We're going to have a super flex tournament that uh, Steve Kurowski won uh, the tournament this year, first ever champion. Super flex fantasy football has become really popular. It's gaining steam. The SBFLC is getting behind it. We do a Saturday morning auction, $200 auction. That the Dick's Chickens won that title, too. So they're getting two trophies. And also a $500 high stakes event before the SBFLC begins. And then we do a guillotine league after the SBFSC main event, which I think is a three drink minimum for most of our owners. <laughs> doing the guillotine. So uh, I was actually fortunate enough to win the guillotine. With, uh, and I, I was about ready to get eliminated from the guillotine about seven times. But uh, for somehow we held on first. You survived. Yes, to say the least. Well, I, I, listen, guys, I can't wait. And I'm going to get down there. We'll, we'll get down there one way or another to be there, host things up, and have a, make it a lot of fun. So. Thank you, Dixie Chickens. Congratulations again. Thank we'll you. see. T- the, the bull pick, whoever gets tails wins. You heard it here first. <laughs> tails, <laughs> tails wins. That's going to be the header. All right, boys. Very good. We'll talk to you real soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right. You've Thanks been watching <laughs> Super Show 24K Sports. I'm Andy McNair. Click subscribe, follow on all social media platforms. Let us know who you think is going to win the big game. We'll talk to you soon. Hi, this is Ron Studel and Kristen Jewell with Studel Financial. I have an announcement today to address the recent increase banks have offered on CDs and IRAs. Banks now offer in excess of 3.5% return on most deposit offerings. Or more importantly, similar rates to what we at Stoodles offered three years ago. We now offer 7.1% interest at Stoodles first year and 6.1% years two through five. Again, proving to you, the consumer and our soon-to-be customer, that they really can't compete. Use these amazing fixed rates, a total of 31.5% over five years to fund your IRAs, roll over your remaining 401k dollars, grow your excess cash tax deferred, and help your moms, dads, and older family members protect and increase their cash accounts as well. Call Stoodles today for a free consultation at 270-438-2611 or visit stoodlefinancial.com.